Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Marketplace video. Today, what we're going to be going over is the October sale. So this will allow you to save 50% on over 1,700 different assets on the Unreal Marketplace from now until October the 30th. So that's only three days away, that is this Sunday. So again, you can save 50% on over 1,700 different assets, and I'm going to be covering my top 10, which I've seen today. So obviously, this might not be the best 10 there, but from the ones I've seen, these are 10, which I think look pretty interesting, pretty good, and pretty useful. So without further ado, let's get right into it, starting with AI Shooter. So AI Shooter was created to be a starter pack with an AI for any shooting game you want. So this includes basic behaviors like shooting, seeking cover, patrolling, flanking, sight perception, hearing, damage, and touch. So again, anything you can think of that you'd want in a shooter game for your AI, this allows you to do that perfectly. So it also has health and health bars set up, weapon spawns, finding ammo, the distance to find ammo, the accuracy of the shooting of the AI, so you can have really good shooters, pretty medium shooters or terrible shooters. They can move, they can drop items, they can have a target type. They can also have different teams, so if you want it to be like a team deathmatch, you can have that as well. And you can also change the color of the AIs, but you might also probably have your own meshes for them anyway. And as I mentioned, they've also got system perception, so they can see and hear, they can also get damaged and touch. Again, they've got a precision system, so that's low, medium, and high. They have ammo search, they have drop, so they will drop weapon, ammo, or health when they die, so when you kill them, you can choose which one to drop. They have AI behavior, so they've got patrolling, searching for ammo, investigating sounds, chasing, attacking, and melee when close. It's got a target system, so it can target players, AIs, or all. So if you want it to just be an AI versus an AI, you can do that. Or if you want it to be AI versus a player, or AI versus both player and AI, you can do that perfectly. This also includes a complete weapon system with damage, different firing modes, different firing rates, sounds, icons, and animations. It also has a radial menu for your weapons, a system aim offset, and so much more. So there's 50 different blueprints in this, with the input being keyboard and mouse, and is not network replicated. So in the moment, this is just a single player thing, but obviously if you want it to be multiplayer, you could advance upon it too. But if you're a multiplayer, you probably won't want AI in this. This is mainly for a single player thing. But once again, I think this one looks absolutely great. There's a ton of stuff in here, and it's a relatively cheap price tag for what you're getting as well. So I think this looks absolutely fantastic. Next up, we've got the game ready 3D character zombie. So this is, as it sounds, a zombie, which you can then use for both the protagonist or the enemy in your game. So the player could play as them, or you have it as an enemy AI instead. So some technical details of this are it has 6,747 faces, 6,529 vertices, and 13,042 triangles. This is also rigged and rigged to the epic skeleton with IK bones included as well. There are additional bones in this too for the epic skeleton. So you've got the different eye sockets and some different tongues and jaws. And that'll be for the different animations they've used. They've also said this has a very easy animation retarget system. So because again, it is rigged to the episkeleton with just a few changes, you can do it very, very easily. This is also animated with the basic Unreal Engine 4 animations. So basically you can retarget those animations to this character, but there's not any custom animations with this. Overall, there's one character, so you're just getting the one zombie. There's one texture set for bodies and eyes. There are 4K textures, normal, specular, gloss, albedo, and matte. There's PBR textures with specular and gloss, and the textures are both JPEG and TGA. As well as all that, this summary character is both FBX and OBJ files, so whichever one you prefer to use, you can use that one. There's not much else to say for this, but I think this looks really high quality. And again, for whatever it is you want, whether it's the character or AI, this zombie looks perfect. And there is a bit of customization you can do on here as well, which you will have seen in the video. Now we've got the Mountain Village Collection. So this is a traditional Nepali village nestled high in the Himalayan mountains, which contains 13 buildings, all with interiors, 110 props and decorations, and six foliage types, all used to create a scenic and detailed environment. So all the models in this have a clean and well-optimized geometry, and the poly counts are listed on the marketplace page as well. I'm not gonna be going over all of those because there's a lot on here, but you can go and see them if that's something you are interested in. All the textures are in 4K, some might be a little bit lower where necessary, but the majority of them are 4K. So some technical details of this are it features 13 buildings with interiors, 110 props, 
and a large and detailed environment. So there's 95 unique meshes with different texture variations, which then comes to 122 meshes total. There is automatically generated collision. The vertex count ranges from 4 to 70,000, so again, that's where you want to look to see where all of those are, but there are no LODs generated for these already, so that might be something you can do yourself, but there aren't any on here. There's 93 materials and material instances, and 439 textures. The texture resolutions are 4K, 2K, and 1K. So as you can see on screen, this looks like a really high quality asset, and as there's 13 different buildings, it's slightly modular. It's not fully modular as all the different pieces of the buildings aren't there, but you can take those different buildings, move them about, use only a few, put them in different locations and all that great stuff. So you can create your own kind of village if that's what you wanted to do. But again, this looks absolutely amazing. Next up, we've got Jutsu Activations Volume 1. So this is 52 Jutsu Activation Animations for Anime Games. Now it says for anime games, however you could also use this in anything that you want, but I think that's really what they made it for. So this includes 52 different animations, with those being 4 idle, 4 being a combination of Jutsu Activation Animations, 1 dash, 31 Ninjutsu Animations, and 12 Taijutsu Animations. And sorry if I've mispronounced any of that. So again, we have 52 animations, we have a demo folder for the animation showcase containing one blueprint, one map, and one skeletal mesh. So these are rigged to the epic skeleton, and they're all root motion animations as well. So they're not in place, they're root motion, which is something to keep in mind. And they've said an important note on this as well is jutsu refers to technique slash art. They've also said to view the in place versions if desired, you can simply open any animation, in the skeleton tab, enable show retargeting options, and then set the root to animation. By default, it's set to skeleton. So there's not a lot written on this page because again, it's mainly you'd watch the video and you see what the animations look like and see if you enjoy them. And again, this is what we've got. I think they look pretty good. Now we have the universal flight system female. And I think this one looks fantastic. So this gives your character the ability to fly. So some disclaimers on this are it's only female animations. The animations and wings are from Paragon and the character and weapons are not included. So they said this is very easy to integrate. You can just add the component to your character blueprint and add linked animograph to the animation blueprint and your character will now gain the ability to fly. You can also use weapons while flying as well, which you'll be able to see in the video. They've also got a lot of examples and tutorials linked on the marketplace page. So if you do get this and you are struggling to understand it a bit, you can go through all these different links on here to see how it all works and what works best for you. So some technical details of this are it's using UE5 animation templates, it's easy to integrate, it's got smooth movement and it supports any other wings as well. There's one blueprint component, one anim graph, four enumerations and three structures. There's 25 in-place animations and six in-place wing animations. There's one mesh, which are the wings. There's 15 textures and two materials. So again, as they said, the animations themselves and the character are from a Paragon, so it's not something they've made. They've just made all of the movement and the, the whole system itself for flying. So they've kind of gathered other elements, put them all together to create this amazing flight system here, which I think looks amazing. It's very, very high quality and looks fantastic. Now we have the modular abandoned bunker. So this is an abandoned bunker modular environment optimized for use in game. So this includes a pre-built environment consisting of various rooms and areas. You can easily create your own environment layouts using the modular assets in this pack. There are 27 high quality props to help flesh out the feel of the environment. There's various tileable materials, and you've also got an asset overview map for easy viewing of each individual asset as well. So within this, there is 121 different unique meshes. They do also also have automatically generated collision. The vertex count ranges from 4 to 13,676. So even at the highest vertex count, it's really not high at all. These do also have LODs too. There's 74 materials and material instances and 162 textures ranging from 512 by 512 up to 4K. So once again, I've said this quite a lot. There's not a lot to say about it on the marketplace page itself. These are mainly just kind of visuals. So you look at them, you see what they are without having to read too much about it. So again, you can see in the video on screen now what this looks like. And again, as I said, it's also modular, which means you can take all these individual pieces apart and make your own 
bunker with them. Also, you don't even have to make it abandoned. This could just be a modular bunker. But this looks absolutely amazing. The assets are very high quality. And again, I love modular stuff because it allows everyone to have the same assets, but all to create something looking completely different. Next up, we've got the stylized nature set. So this is a great set of stylized plants and you can create your worlds however you want. So within this, there are three different stylized bundles of grass with different density and unique materials on them. You can change the color, you can mix multiple colors, you can break up the color of the grass with black and white textures. These also have wind animations on them as well. And you can also adjust the wind force, speed and direction within that animation too. There are six different types of stylized trees with separate tree base materials and foliage materials. So you've got five different sized stylized trees and one stylized giant tree. You can use multiple textures on these two. You can mix textures via vertex paint. You can alter the tree foliage with a black and white texture. You can adjust the size of the leaves as well as changing the color of the leaves. And you can split the foliage color by a gradient. There are three types of stylized shrubs with tree-like foliage materials and there are 27 kind of stylized flowers with wind animations. These include 15 small flowers, four medium flowers, and eight large flowers. There's also 11 different kind of rocks to build mountains positioned in the landscape or just lying on the road. So these have two large stones, three medium stones, three regular stones, and three small stones. There's also nine unique props in Japanese style. So these are an altar, an arch, box, two fences, a sign, a stone slab, a street lamp which has an emissive channel and a wagon. There's also five visual effects made in Niagara with this as well. These include butterflies, dust, falling leaves, flying leaves and wind lines. Again the wind lines is something on there which is also especially making this stylized because that's obviously something you don't actually see but with this kind of art style in these kind of games that is something you see which looks really cool. So a quick overview of that we have three grass, six trees, three shrubs, 27 flowers, 11 stones, 9 props, 5 VFX, 10 materials, 12 material functions, 41 material instances, 99 textures, 1 decal, and 2 damage scenes. So sorry if that sounds like a lot of information there, there really is a lot included in this pack. In total, there's 65 unique meshes, and they do have automatically generated collision, but no LODs. The text resolutions range from 256 by 256 up to 4K. So I've said quite a lot on this one, but again, there's so much within this pack of the stylized nature set, and it looks absolutely fantastic, which you've obviously been able to see on screen now. And now we have the easy chat plug and play. So this is going to be a pretty quick one to cover, but I just wanted to throw this in because I think it looks really good and really useful. So this is a plug and play chat system for any multiplayer game. So this has a multiplayer chat system with one main tab or text channel where all the messages are sent to every player that is connected to the server and private messages between two players that only they can read as well. So there's different sections to this, which I think is also pretty cool. So this chat system also has a censoring system that works off of two arrays, which are forbidden words and exceptions. There are currently no other moderation systems in place, however, but its censoring system is pretty good as a lot of chat systems don't have that, or at least the chat systems on the Unreal Marketplace. So this features a global chat, private messages, showing and hiding the chat using a single event, and color changing using one variable as well, so you can change the color of the chat box itself. And obviously I don't really need to say this, but this is obviously network replicated, so you can use this in your multiplayer games. So again, like I said, not much to say about this, but you can see what it does. It's a really cool feature, and it's also really cheap as well. I think this is something great, which if you want to make a multiplayer game, I think this is an easy go-to. Next up, we've got Simple Fish Logic. So this is a blueprint with simple logic based on random variables and traces. So this will create a very realistic looking fish behavior based on simple variables and traces, a simple and beautiful solution to most simple, realistic underwater environments. Once again, not a lot to say on this, you see it in the video, but this is something great to just fill in your scene if you have something underwater, even if you're not gonna be going underwater, you'll still be able to see them. This is just something great, just to add in that extra little bit of detail into your games. So this features Niagara particles used to emulate large fish crowds, tracer-based movements enables unique and unpredictable behavior, and three fish meshes included for quick start and understanding the system, but you can obviously add in your own ones in there as well if you wanted to. So a little disclaimer on this too is a third-party water plugin and third-person demo scenes are used for environments for demonstration of the fish logic. 
So you want to make sure you do enable the water plugin if you're going to be using their demo scene. And finally, last but not least, we have Demon Animations, which is a collection of demon haunting animations for any horror game. So in total, there is 162 different animations, and we have 5 ambient scare, 4 attack, 34 floor crawl, 4 first person, 4 demon hide, 11 idle, 21 jump scare, 17 large size, 36 movement, 7 stagger, 2 transition, 14 wall crawl, and 3 victim. So something to keep in mind is this is just purely the animations. They've said the character model from the promotional video and images are not included, as well as the blueprints for any gameplay not included as well. This is strictly an asset pack with the animations in. So some technical details of this are, it's rigged to the epic skeleton and it does also have IK bones included as well, if that's what you have. It's 162 animations, all of which are root motion. So again, they're not in place. These ones are root motion. And when you load up the game, these are going to be on the Unreal Mannequin. So if that's what you're using, you don't need to retarget them. It's already on the mannequin for you. They've also said all of these animations are handcrafted from a professional animator as well. And you can tell that as these all look very, very high quality. They look absolutely fantastic, which you'll be able to see on the screen in the video now. You can see how great they actually look. But I think that'd be it for this video covering the top 10 assets on the Unreal Engine Marketplace October sale, which again is going to be ending on Sunday the 30th of October. You can save 50% on over 1,700 different assets. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful of me just covering all these different assets, giving my opinion on them and just showcasing the top 10 as again, there's a lot of different ones on here. So I'm just putting some out there to see what you think of them. I think my favorite one this time around is probably either the demon animations or the female flight system. Let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite one was or if there's any others on the page in the rest of the sale that you also find really great and you really enjoy that I haven't covered. Let me know in the comments down below as well. So thanks so much for watching this video, and if you did enjoy it, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.